Do not post your referral codes in the comment section below. Doing so will result in being blocked and banned. Hi guys, it's Jason121. Before we get this started with today's video, let's just go over the basics. My username is jbo785. Order is House of Gods. Uh, order leader is Mellison1980. So if you want to get into our order, be sure to message him. We'll try to get you in. If you have any questions or comments, be sure to post them below. I'll do my best to answer those. So now that that's out of the way, let's go ahead and get started. Today's competition, or this week's competition, is basically going to be this. And as you can see the picture here, who is your favorite comedian? Or you know what, if you don't even know that, basically, what's your favorite funny movie? And go into a little bit of depth of why. My favorite comedian, personally, is Christopher Titus, because I can relate to him. Which, if any fans are out there, you'll understand just how scary that concept is. So, I brought up this website here, ChristopherTitus.com. You can go to Comedy Central, watch his old stand-up. You can even get on the old YouTube there and watch some of his other stuff. Guys, take the time to watch him. He is freaking phenomenal. He is a genius. He is highly underrated. He used to have his own show on Fox, which actually got canceled because he called the Fox director stupid. Now, want to talk about taking some balls? That guy has some major balls to call his boss stupid. So, be sure to watch him. Also, other than Christopher Titus, another amazing genius is Kevin Smith. Those familiar with him probably know him as Silent Bob from Clerks or Clerks 2 or Mallrats, uh, Dogma, Chasing Amy, basically any Kevin Smith film with him and Jay and Silent Bob Strike Back, of course. So, be sure to check him out. Um, on Hulu.com, he actually has his own series called Spoilers, where he tells the brutus, brutal and honest truth about a lot of the movies that have come out today. Season 1's just ended, so if there's some movies coming out to the dollar theater or the two dollar theater, depending on where you're at, and you're thinking about spending, and you're just not sure if it's worth that amount of cash, be sure to get on there and check out Spoilers, okay? And, you know, guys, I'm not affiliated with Christopher Titus or Kevin Smith. I just, these are people that I highly respect and that I believe are highly underrated. So, you know, get on there, check them out. If you got a little bit of free time to kill, I'm telling you, you will not be disappointed. So, that being said, that's the competition. We are now up to 130 subscribers, okay? So, get on there, guys. Check it out. You know, post down below in the little comment section. And for the love of God... Leave your in-game name. Guys, there's been like five people that I would have chosen to be winners, and they forgot their goddamn in-game name. Leave it in the comment section below. I have no idea who the hell you people are, okay? So, in-game name down below, all right? Sometimes, guys, I just give you a comp compensation prize, okay? A just for entering the competition. So post your in-game name below, alright? That being said, we got 130 subscribers. Next time we get 140 subscribers, or if a week or two goes by and, you know, haven't had that many more subscribers, I'll try to hold another competition. What that'll be, I don't know, but be sure to tune in, check it out, and hopefully you'll win. That being said, since we have 130 subscribers, I will try to increase the prize this time. Um, basically, guys, be sure to update your wish list, too. You know, because that kind of lets me know what you want. Another thing that I'd really like you to do is when you post that in-game name, post your realm as well, okay? Because when I'm looking for prizes, that helps me know what to give you. All right, that being said, let's go ahead and get on to a little bit of the, you know, meat of this topic of this video. We're going to be talking about a couple tips, a couple tricks, uh, some of the prizes that are going to be given out from Holy War, and just what I would consider a couple really good buys, okay? So, going back to good old Angel Queen, everybody has one of these, you know, she's like the village bicycle, um, is this. People are basically wasting her from what I've seen, okay? I've seen her been used on, you know, normal cards, unfortunately. So, you know, basically what she'll do is she's going to give whatever card you use her in a three bonus levels, okay? So that makes her invaluable because I know I've used ten basically high normal uh, unskilled cards before and only gotten like four or five levels. So, for her to be able to give you 30 levels for using 10 of her, that's amazing. Now, as I've said in my previous videos, I thought that she'd be a really good investment. Um, her price there, when Tears of the Moon was out, was basically you could buy 
nine of her for almost as cheap as seven HP. Okay, I didn't have the space at the time. Otherwise, I probably would have stocked up on some of my hope that my viewers have. Now that Tears of the Moon has gone away, I'm selling. I'm seeing her sell for closer to one HP per to one point five HP per, so almost double. And I'm pretty certain, if not guaranteed, that she'll eventually go up to at least two HP. To not 3 HP eventually, okay? And even at that, in certain situations, that's still a decent buy. So, basically, guys, how do you properly use her? It goes like this. If you got 10 of them, use 10 of them at one time. And I don't recommend using on anything less than an SR, okay? Unless you're trying to quickly hurry up and involve an HR card to do get to the SR status, okay? So, Use 10 of her. I've actually gotten 45 levels once off of 10 of these things. That saved me a crap ton of time, crap ton of rubies, crap ton of feeders. Made me really freaking happy. Now, a lot of people aren't going to be able to afford to do that. A lot of people don't have the space to do that. So, if you're going to use one of these in an evolving status to try to get that card's level up, what you do is try to use her along with rares, try to use her along with high rares, and basically, if you're going to use normal cards, make sure that those normal cards have a power of at least 11 or higher to try to get that enhance, excellent enhance effect going off, okay? So rather than her just giving 3 levels or 300%, she gets 450%. So I hope that's clarified some things for you, okay? This card here, and my friend McIntyre, um, or Big Mac, actually got one of these and... She's worth like 55 to 65 HP, and it's because has a defense god card, extremely high defense, and big boots of god's defense. She, it, it, it's kind of ridiculous that the man version of this card goes for about 20 HP, and the god version of this card goes for about 50 to 60 HP, so triple the amount of price. Um... A lot of people, unfortunately, are trading this high rare card for other high rares, and they're getting ripped off, so I wanted to bring that to people's attention. Be sure to check out RageTradeBlogspot.com to take a look at her stats. In fact, I think I'll do that right now. This will take just a minute to load, guys. I apologize for that. And that's what's going on. Arch Damon. Um, this card's effect is really quite amazing. It's a big hit to foes defense all. So if you're running a demon deck... Uh, plus this card's attack is really high. I think it's like 16, 17,000. Um, so quite amazing. You can pick these up for about 30 HP per now that the rewards are getting ready to be given out and there's going to be a mass flood of these. If you're looking to replace like a Minotaur or an Arc Dragon or something like this, uh, for 500 less attack than a lot of those demon cards, this Arch Demon is an amazing freaking card, card and something that's really worth picking up. Um, if you are ha if you have a man deck, if you're looking for something to kind of beef up your deck, um, unfortunately, an event that does a medium boost to large bosses or a big boost to dragons has not come out in a really long time, which kind of sucks. So that this card's effect and skill is basically worthless. But for doing an 815 Evo, this card maxes out at like 17,100 attack. For doing a 4-6 Evo, this card still maxes out at 16,500 attacks, so really freaking high. And the reason I'm picking this card up is you can pick them up for about 10 to 11 HP per, so super freaking cheap. Basically, for what one good HR would cost, you can pick up 4 to 6 of these cards, okay? And that being said, I think once this event does come out, if it ever does come out again, this card is going to be invaluable to have in your deck. And I've seen this card go from about 30 HP per down to 10 HP, which is kind of disappointing on my end because it was a bad investment. But I really do think that these cards will rebound, so I'd pick these up, especially if you can get them for 10 HP per. Um, I know that a lot of people, when they first start out, are looking for good defense cards, and unfortunately those cards are just so ungodly expensive. And so that's why I'm saying the Buccaneer is actually a pretty good choice. Unfortunately, it only targets man's attack, but it maxes out, I think, at 11,000, 12,000 defense, which for a high rare at its final status is really quite good. Um, and you can pick these cards up for 1 to 3 HP per, so she's relatively cheap, too. Elaine was the card that I was talking about in my last video, and as you can see, it's a big boost to attack all, and I just wanted to go into a little bit further detail with that. So... 
go back. Get there. Loading. And that'll take a while to load. Ah, don't give me your own, dude. Alright, so we got a lane, you know, and basically her stats are pretty decent. Her power requirement is pretty low, just slightly higher than a Lucy. Um, you know, she seems to be pretty evenly matched for attack and defense. It's a big boost to attack also. She's going to affect herself, you know. Um, there's going to be quite a few of these coming out, guys. Um, ah, son of a bitch. I exited out of it. Well, you know what? Fuck it. Anyways, get on Rage Trade Blogspox. Uh, dot com to check it out and to view that yourself. I know that this video is starting to get kind of long, so remember, guys, if you have an extra device laying around or plan on making an account, be sure to use my referral code RUM26800 after that tutorial. That gets you a free rare card. That's it for me. Get you some rubies. Get me some rubies. Everybody's happy. So, guys, I hope that you like this video. Be sure to compete. Post in the comment section below. Remember, your favorite comedian or your favorite funny movie. Be sure to blog a little bit on there. For the love of God. Post your in-game name after your post, okay? And be sure to post your realm, too, because that helps me choose what kind of prize you're going to get. So, guys, I hope that you've liked the video. I hope you participate. This is JBO785 signing off.